growing up in a working class neighborhood and with my father being a, a machinist, a, a skilled mechanic, uh, and very involved in uh, early union movements and uh, general strike in Seattle and, uh, and things of that sort uh, uh, had a considerable effect on my feelings about uh, uh, liberalism, uh, progressivism, the, uh, and uh, concern for, uh, for people that are uh, working class people that are struggling for a living and the uh, feeling that uh, they ought to be better housed and that uh, uh, they ought to have a more opportunity to, to rise up uh, than seem to exist. And I, I think that's very, it's been very meaningful and, and it has always affected uh, things that I've been involved in. And uh, I, I would really like to emphasize that a lot. And my mother, school teacher, uh, very concerned about uh, my brother, brother's education and my education, particularly as well as uh, being uh, very liberal and tolerant as far as uh, uh, racial and ethnic uh, minorities were concerned that is another another factor that uh, has been meaningful to the things I've done and been interested in. So maybe a just a continuing emphasis on or on that or re-emphasis on that would be uh, helpful to some psychiatrist that tries to figure out what made me tick sometime. <laughs> Uh, a lot of us had cared about the Pike Place Market as a as a part of the city, and we knew that the, some developers, entrepreneurs, and the city people were thinking about making a urban renewal project there, a really urban removal project, and different things uh, had been taking place that we didn't have a chance to get a handle on until they became almost accomplished and it didn't have to make environmental impacts uh, at that time uh, 15 years or so ago, 20 years ago. And uh, we knew that there was a, a, a group of Seattle people, including the, the, uh, some people in high office in the city, that had the idea of cleaning out the Pike Place market and putting it to higher and better use, and you have to put quotation marks around that. Uh, so after losing a battle, and I don't just remember what it was, but it may have been a meeting where uh, a good building was set to be, a, that we discussed and it was too late to demolish this building, or it may have been one of the highway things that uh, uh, crossing of Portage Bay and so on, uh, architects Ibsen Nelson and Fred Bassetti and I went out for a beer after after this and said, we've got to get ahead of, of those guys on, on uh, some of these things. And one of the most important things that's coming up is the uh, their intentions to uh, urban remove the Pike Place market with all of the values, with all the things that it has there. So let's get on with that. And Ibsen was the... Uh, that probably was, uh, wow, it was, probably was uh, about 1960 or so. Mm -hmm. That's a little while ago, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, so we started trying to do something about that. Uh, I wrote a letter to the editor not too far after that, and I was walking down the avenue, University Way, and saw this article on the front page, uh, uh, urban renewal of Pike Place Market objected to or something of that sort. And much to my surprise, the editor of the Times had decided that this ordinary letter to the editor was uh, worthy of front page uh, uh, publication. I haven't always had that uh, sympathy from, from the media. But anyway, uh, Ibsen was president of Al Allied Arts and we had a committee, we formed a committee in Allied Arts of Seattle to uh, consider the, the, the Pike Place Market, and I was very active in that, and a lot of other people were too. And we finally got around to deciding that 
we should form with urban renewal coming over the hill, and we could see it happening, uh, that um, we could publicize what was planned for uh, the market, that is pretty, pretty much removal and, and apartment garage development there, and perhaps offices, but anyway, that it was really intended to be wiped out as uh, one of the uh, things that was not of value to the city. And so we started doing things uh, uh, in the market, or calling attention to the market, uh, writing letters and uh, articles and, uh, and things of that sort. And the, the big kickoff, however, was a meeting of about 40 people in Lowell's Cafe, where the Friends of the Market was formed uh, by Allied Arts, as an offshoot from Allied Arts. And Wing Luke, a city councilman, was very, very helpful with that. I didn't want to be the chairperson, or I didn't want to lead the thing. I just wanted to tell them what to do. And uh, <laughs> so uh, Wing got a friend of his, Bob Ashley, who was an attorney, to act as co-chairman with me. And the agreement was that I would just uh, talk about policy and meet and, and so on, but they would arrange affairs uh, and, and publicity and, and, and things of that sort. May I ask, at, at that point, did you have a strategy in mind other than just simply making people as aware about what I think might it was happen there? Mainly uh, to make people aware of the values of the market, the, uh, the, the things that were important about it, and how, why it was important to the city, why it was important to have the local produce available, and uh, that there was also a living there for small merchants and, and people, and that it uh, accommodated uh, people from such a broad strata of uh, city life. Mm -hmm. uh, things, uh, generally uh, educational uh, uh, actions as the, uh, the values and the importance of the things that were a part of the market.